Okay, in this video, what I'd like to do is talk about how we upload a program from a PLC. And so I have a very simple start stop station here programmed in, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to download this to uh, a MicroLogic 1400. And I'm in run mode. So this is just the you know, very simple uh, start stop station here. So now what I'm going to do, now that you can see this, so I'm going to actually uh, go offline, close this program, and open it up and show you how to do this. So I'm going to open up a brand new RS Logics 500 program. Let's say we're connecting to this PLC for the first time, and you've already created your RS Links network, which I have other videos on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the Upload button. And you can see, just like that, this is one of the ways, if this computer has actually been if this is the computer that downloaded to it, you can see here, this perfectly matched it. Now, another way to do this is, and I'll go ahead and close out RSLogix 500 and show you this again. So what you can do is you can actually come here, select new, come over to here, go 1400, because that's what we're using, the MicroLogix 1400, come here and select upload. This is asking if you want to change the uh, untitled that you have here, just select no. This will open it up and it will go online. And one of the things I want you to notice here is that this is actually retaining the descriptions. All right. Now, if I go to another PLC that this computer doesn't have the base program for, let's see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and close RS Logix 500, open it up one more time. And then this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my communications, who's active. And I'm going to go to a different PLC, and I don't know what this program, the program that's in here is, but we'll open this up, we'll hit OK, hit uh, Create New File, and you can see that I have uploaded a PLC program from a completely different IP address, so if it's from a different it's from a different PLC. Now if you'll notice here, there are no descriptions. And the reason there are no descriptions is the PLC does not save the description. It only saves the addresses. And this is an important thing to note if you're ever going to upload a PLC program from the computer that doesn't have the original program, the descriptions won't be there. Okay, but if you don't have a copy of the PLC program, this is really important. It will not only be the line descriptions, but also the instruction descriptions as well. So this is a little bit about how to upload a program uh, from a PLC. I have other videos that show you how to communicate to the PLC, which is your very first step um, going in through RS links, especially if you're using the Ethernet. I have a number of videos on there. Uh, check out my playlists. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, I'd love it if you could hit the like and subscribe button. All right. Thanks a lot for watching.